Hey there again, this is Tony, and I've got a uh, Blue Eddy here. So I'm going to dig into this. It's the AC200P, so it's not the, uh, what is it, the Max? It's not the Max, but this is why I needed one of these. Especially for like boating and overlanding and camping and stuff down here in Florida. It'll get quite a bit of use. All the uh, corners were reinforced with these cardboard uh, pieces there. It's uh, a box within a box so far. I got the 200P here. I'm pretty excited about it. Here's your power brick. Good size, but it is 400 watts, so I would expect that to be a good size. Your refrigerator is probably only like two, three hundred watts. There's some more plugs. Now this thing is packaged extremely nice. Huge block of foam. Did not skimp on uh, protecting this thing during shipping. I'm pretty excited. So far it doesn't look used or anything. Sixty-one, sixty-two pounds, I think. I have not used this at all yet, so uh, two thousand watts, two thousand watt hours. I'm gonna start digging into this thing. All right, so you guys are gonna be with me here. The first time I've ever turned this on, I have not uh, even switched this on yet. And all the uh, links will be in the description for everything here. I'm gonna test it with the uh, cobalt little tester here. First time turning on. Let's see what happens. All right, so it was shipped with 84%. So I'll have to set the uh, date and time still. Let's see if we're right off the bat, if there are any faults. No faults, I don't think it's ever been used or anything. Cool. All right, I'm gonna test out these plugs. Neat. This is just a little cobalt uh, clamp style multimeter. I'm gonna throw it on uh, alternating currents, volts there, where your little sine wave is. Take off my CAT 3 4 adapters. Uh, connect my ground first, because that's how I do. Clean 120. 121, try a couple more plugs, make sure they're all working. If you don't uh, feel comfortable using a multimeter, please don't use one. <laughs> all right, so those look good. I'll turn off my alternating current here. Off. So it looks like the screen is more of a pressure type screen, so you can use the uh, like the tip of your nail or something like that. Sweet. I'll check these uh, direct current here. Switch this over to DC. I'm gonna check out this uh, 12 volt, 25 amp. See which one is which here. Yeah, it's putting out 13.6 volts. That's good. All right, so this is the rigid uh, five horse little small shop vac. It's a wet dry vac. I'll be able to uh, blow stuff down, cars, bikes, motorcycles, all that stuff. If you follow the channel, I'm always into a bunch of different stuff. But this thing is super strong. It's very, very nice to have. Uh, we're going to hook this up to this. This is one of the best uh, little plug-in style vacuums that I've ever personally used. 
put this on, plug in my shop vac, see if that works. probably power that for quite a while. I'm using it to power the uh, TV, a Roku. It's charging a power drill, uh, charging this Bobo VR battery uh, laptop right now. And I also have the, uh, I think it's called the PV350. It's a 350 watt solar panel. So right now uh, we're pulling about 204 watts or so. And it's a 2000 watt hour uh, battery bank and I'll put a link in the description so you can do some research and stuff but and then I'll just uh, when we leave we'll hook up the solar panel and it will uh, charge up so yeah we're using peak hours right now and instead of using the grid we're using this later so yeah, having this portable power uh, will be really nice on the boat and uh, overlanding and stuff here in Florida like I said I'll put all the uh, links in the description for all this stuff thank you for watching and uh, keep up with the channel here. We're uh, in the process of moving down here to Florida. If you have been following the channel. Got half of my family up in Michigan still. They're on their way down. Thank you for watching. We're going to test this out off camera and put it through its paces.